There they are making the rounds, mama and kitties. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't stand it. She is pretty careful where she steps because she has stepped on them on occasion and my goodness is that a blood curdling scream. But they're, they're trying to get at her teats, man, but she's like, let me eat first. All right, it's super hot. And I finally got that extra, this right here, piglet proof. So I'm gonna put the piglets in it and see if mama will follow because there's a lot of fresh grass in here. Oh man, it is ate up hot. What I did is I put th this fence right here to the goats is not small enough four by fours to keep piglets out of. So I lined it with chicken wire uh, and I used what I had in the barn from all the bales of hay and straw and tied it up with uh, nylon. Now, I'm not naive. I know pigs are super strong and this chicken wire is nothing to them. But I'm hoping that it's just enough of a deterrent that, you know, once they start, once mama starts, if they root this lip right here, I got a lip going down. If she starts rooting it up, it's hard to get up past a certain point because of these nylon strings. I'm just hoping she gives up and I can see it and I'll be able to fix it. Otherwise, I'd probably have to buy a hog panel and just line this fence right here with hog panel. That won't be a big deal, but I just use what I had to see if it works. On the other side, I had that uh, drain that makes a wallow for one of the hog pens and it is above ground. And a 300 pound hog stepping on it with just their hoof uh, could probably puncture to go through it. So I put this guy down it's pretty heavy duty rubber mat uh, so that it'll distribute the weight when you step right here's where the the drain is i tied these cattle panel up i don't care if piglets get in there but that drain is right here so i don't want the big pig to step on it or root it up so i just tied those hog panels or i'm sorry cattle panels up against the fence because they can't get through this that's piglet proof so now my issue was the drain <laughs> There's always something. I put blocks where the cattle panel hits the ground. I put blocks here to keep the big pigs from going in. Uh, I don't think they'll be able to mess with that. So what I'm gonna do now is put some piglets in here and see if mama follows. We'll see how that goes. So I just put her in the new pen and she is just munching away on some fresh greens and that's exactly what I wanted. Piglets followed her so <laughs> we're good to go man. Now there's not a lot of shade over here but it's back open up here to wallows and a pen that has shade so everything's looking pretty good. They'll get hot over here though I'm worried about it. Look at this look at this. <laughs> oh, there's one that's lost. Better hurry up, dude. Aw. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, here he goes. 
They're hungry, but she's hungry. <laughs> you guys are cute. Oh my gosh. Pretty soon she's gonna be like, get away from me, man. <laughs> All right, this dude right here doesn't even know he's a papa, but now he can hear the squealing from right over there. And he got up and he's like, what? What was that? Right? And he has annihilated that thing right there. I have to go in and fix it today. He just keeps chewing on that one area. I don't get it. Now I'm, I'm so irritated with that. Boy, what are you doing? Why'd you do that? Thank you. The Earl of Sandwich, John Montague, who lived in the 1700s, reportedly invented the sandwich so he wouldn't have to leave the gambling table to eat. <laughs> what an addiction, man. So now my plan is to work on this guy and I have to distract the pigs because when you're working on something in their area, they are all over you. Not in a menacing or negative way. They just want attention and love it and they're super huge and they'll just push you over and be right where your hands are to work. Isn't that right? See, so you heard me. Can you hear the talk? Uh, so I'm going to distract him with some food. I got some cantaloupe and lettuce. I'm going to put it way down there so they're distracted. Then I'm going to dig out an area and put two cinder blocks uh, in there and put the tube through the cinder blocks and then bury it so that only the opening uh, has a way for the water to get out. I don't, I'll, I'll show you when I'm done. Man, and then I gotta dig a trench because he broke it way up here. I can't believe he did that. That's super irritating. Oh well, I guess it's another project, but at least it's in the shade. See? <laughs> They're done eating their food. They're coming over here. I got to do something with them. All right. Hi. Should have showed you this, but I just got busy and it's it's hot and tiring out here. But I cut off like three feet of the piping, drainage piping, cut it back, and underneath that mud right here, right there, it stops and it is inside two cinder blocks through the holes so even if they dig through the mud or get through the mud they won't be able to get to the piping because it's in a cinder block i mean they would have to move some a lot of stuff to do that I'm not saying they can't but i think it's a lot better so i made a little ditch now from the pipe to the wallow so i think we're going to be doing okay my tools got a little bit muddy so I gotta clean them off and these things right here they are super roots and just digging in you know two inches in the ground you're rooted and you gotta that's why I have my trimmers and everything else here it's whack the pigs were bothering me a lot wouldn't let me work so I moved them over into their second pen which is over yonder I'll let you see them here in a minute Alrighty, it's tree cutting time. Two trees have fallen recently. Uh, this one here fell in the turkey pen. It actually makes a pretty good roost. I've seen them roosting on it. So I'll probably leave a piece of it in there, but I gotta cut it off this fence right here. And this big one fell on the hog fence. It doesn't look like it damaged it too bad, so I'm just gonna cut it off and see what it looks like. Look at that puppy. Just snapped right in two there. What are you doing out there? Huh? I'm getting ready to cut around you. <laughs> Look how red those turkeys' necks get. Man, I'm telling you, they're almost blue usually, and then they turn red. Strange. Okay. You can see I got this thing all trimmed up. It's off the fence, no harm done. I'm working on this one. It's almost all off the vents. It did bend it some, but I think it's uh, easily repairable. Uh, with a couple of fence staples. 
think I can make this back to right as rain. Good grief, it's hot out here. It's hard to take. But yeah, here's what I've done so far. I'll show you when it's done. I've been cutting down those trees. I'll show you my progress here in a minute. A lot of sweat, a lot of heat, a little bit of blood, but it's coming along. So I'm just cooling down a little bit real quick. Oh man, oh, it feels good. Oh. Man, standing in the shade, in this breeze, it's just the bomb. Cause it's just smothering out here. I wanted to show you what I did with that tree that fell. It is off the fence. I'm not quite dumb. I'm gonna take a break here because I'm just obliterated by this heat. But I want to show you, here's the fence that it hit. It's just bent a little bit. All I gotta do is bring it up on this post, put a post staple in it, and it's good as good to go. The bottom's fine, so it's holding in the livestock, no big deal. And I wanted to say, I, when you live on a farm, you need a chainsaw. And I understand big jobs need a gas-powered chainsaw, I get it. But mine always broke, or just went through oil like you don't know what. I don't know, I just got tired of messing with them. So I got an electric one. And this was its maiden outing. And I must say, I'm kind of impressed. Even up to that thickness of that log right there, there was no issues. And instant power on, instant off when I released. I didn't have to wear earmuffs. I, it did what it was supposed to, I liked it. So, if you got medium and small jobs around the house that need chainsaw, um, consider an electric. I mean, the only drawback is you're tripping over the core sometimes, and if you have uh, projects really far away from the house, you know, that's a problem too. But this had two, uh, I think, 100 foot extension cords, uh, and there was zero loss of power, at least that I could tell. Also cut this off the fence, there was no problem. Left something for a roost. So it did a good job. I'm pretty pleased with it. Okay, it's been a couple days since I fixed that drain into the pig's wallow. And I'm gonna see how it did. It rained really heavy today. So, okay, okay. There's some water. Looks like the drain worked. So, okay. I guess I'll take that, huh? Oh yeah, I can live with that. <laughs> hey, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to continue being a part of all the adventures and stories that happen on Rubber Soul Farm. I hope we can spend more time together on the farm. But until then, enjoy your animals and take care of yourselves.